Hi everyone, I'm Donna Louise and welcome to my YouTube channel for the love of puzzles. Today is the day we unbox our next epic jigsaw puzzle. Now recently I completed the 54,000 piece jigsaw puzzle by Graphica called Travel Around Art. And I know what you're thinking, I haven't yet done the full display of it up on a wall. That video is still planned to come. I just confirmed with the venue that are allowing me to use their walls to display it. Everything is moving along as planned. I'm hoping to have that video up in about a month and a half, two months at the latest, and it's gonna be epic. But I didn't wanna wait. I wanna crack this one open. So this is the 42,000 piece Educa puzzle called Around the World. Now. I don't script my unboxings because I don't know what's inside. I haven't opened it. This is a complete surprise. So I realize that I'll probably do some comparisons between this one and the Graphica Jigsaw Puzzle. I am not going to compare the image. They're obviously very different and I think I love them both for what they are. I love the Graphica fine art and that it was kind of like panels. But this one, I love that it's one continuous image and it's something different. Monuments, animals, places, locations. So this will be different, but similar in the sense that during the time lapses, I'll do voiceovers and I'll talk about the various monuments that are depicted in the jigsaw puzzle. So why not we get ready and let's get this lid off the box. Okay, the first thing is, we already broke the box, so, <laughs> I mean, I don't even know how it happened, but as you can see, this is just a cardboard box, and on this corner I've taped it. I don't even know how it ripped, but I will admit that for something so heavy, I think you need more sturdy packaging. I do love the Graphica suitcase. It doesn't necessarily have to be a suitcase, but the packaging, oh look, this one broke. This one. <laughs> It must have just broken now when I put it up on the table or took it off. But yeah, th this is a problem. The box is falling to pieces. And I realized once I put the puzzle together, I won't be using the box. But what if I want to resell it? The box obviously needs to be taped. And the other thing is, no wheels. Now, I understand the suitcase had wheels. But isn't there a Ravensburger large jigsaw puzzle that comes with a little dolly or something to help you move it? And I know some people might say, well, that'll add to the expense. Well, if you're spending the money on a jigsaw puzzle this size, I'm sure you'll add in a few extra dollars to make it portable. Because I can't move this thing. It is so heavy. And now, look, I've, I'm really damaging the box. So, although I love that it depicts the entire jigsaw puzzle. I love that absolutely love it. I think something needs to be done to make it a more sturdy, you know, packaging and more portable somehow. Even if the, you know, even if the bottom was reinforced and had little wheels sticking out that you could like roll around, that would be amazing. Again, these are just my thoughts and opinions and I'm by no means an expert because I completed one large jigsaw puzzle, but just my thoughts. So here you go. The front of the box. It says Educa, that's the brand. This is my first Educa jigsaw puzzle. I hope I like it. I have 42,000 pieces to go. And what I love, not only does it depict the entire jigsaw puzzle, but right down here, it like does a little blow up of a section and it actually says this is the real size detail. So wow, you get an idea of how large the scale of this image is. It's gonna be amazing. So this is a scooter, probably, you know, for Italy, if I had to guess. And basically, these are all monuments from locations all around the world. And I can't wait to find where the, like, New Zealand area is. Are they gonna have, like, a kiwi bird? Or um, our parliament building is called the Beehive because it's quite distinct. So I can't wait to see what's all there is to discover in this jigsaw puzzle. So the front of the box does also have the dimensions. It's 749 centimeters by 157 centimeters. So nearly seven and a half meters 
by one and a half meters. So still a very good size, it's gonna be big. And up here in this little corner, it says sheet model and list of monuments inside. I'm very curious for the reference material because with Graphica, we had so much reference material, it was amazing. I hope they provide as much reference material as well. Now, we're just gonna, the other sides of the box, to tell you the truth, they keep saying puzzle 42,000. The actual name of the puzzle does not appear anywhere on the front, but it is small here on the side, and it has it in multiple languages, and it says around the world, and I believe it's puzzle number 17570. But besides that, it does say here on this side, it says copyright of Ejika Boras, which must be the, the company name. I think they were founded in 2017, or maybe this puzzle was made in 2017. And the artist is Adrian Chesterman. But yeah, the box though, just pretty simple on detail, but has enough. So I'm going to put this off to the side and we'll see what's inside. Okay, so I have the box covered down there on the floor, out of the way. Here's the inside of the box. I'll talk about what's on the back of the box once I get this stuff out. So the first thing I see here is a booklet. Right on the front of the booklet, could this be the first kind of panel? Now, from my understanding, there's seven bags of 6,000 pieces each. So perhaps this is section one, and they have numbers for various monuments. For example, this makes me so happy. There's the CN Tower from Toronto. Yeah, I've been up the CN Tower a few times. It's labeled number one. And so other monuments and items are labeled. In fact, number 12 is a skunk. Now this, this is so funny. Someone who grew up in an area with skunks. Yeah, I don't think... <laughs> I wouldn't put a skunk on a jigsaw puzzle and, and label it and call it out as something special but then again Kiwis here where I live they have no idea of the concept of how horrific a skunk smells try to explain the smell of a skunk to someone it's impossible but anyway that's making me laugh there's a little skunk in the corner so the first pages looks like it's all one two three let's see four five six, seven, so there's, yeah, seven pages. So if I had to guess, each one of these pages corresponds to a bag and a section of the jigsaw puzzle. Now I hope there's individual posters for each one that are bigger, so you're able to see the detail a bit more. Oh, I can't wait, I don't wanna to look too much. But then it appears here, okay, all the numbered items are listed. And it looks like it's in multiple languages. We have Spanish, English, German, French, Italian, Portuguese. I'm sorry, I don't know what language they speak in the Netherlands, but it just says Netherlands. And then that looks like it could be Russian. So if I go to the English section right here, number one, it does say CN Tower Toronto. So now you can use this as a reference. If I wanna talk about number 90, I would just go here to number 90 and it would be the Parthenon in Athens, which I've been to. Also what I like is that it actually has them sub-sorted. Things in the Americas, things in Europe and the Middle East, uh, continued the Middle East and Africa, Asia, O, and L'Oceanie. I'm not sure how to say that in English, Oceania. So this is what I'm curious, indulge me for a minute while I look. Let's see, there's a few items. That's in Australia, Australia. Australia, Australia. Koala is really Australia. Australia, Australia. Australia, Australia, Australia. Dingo, kangaroo. I don't think we have many wild kangaroos. We have some wallabies, but coyote, possum, possum. It's funny, possums in Australia are protected. Possums in New Zealand are a pest. Great white shark. There's, no <laughs> There's nothing specific for New Zealand. Not even a kiwi bird? Aw, Adrian, you're breaking my heart. Once again, New Zealand is left off a map. In all seriousness though, this is a cute little booklet. 
this will be nice to refer back the numbers and the items and talk about everything that appears in the jigsaw puzzle. It's very nicely colored and yeah, lots of detail. On the back of the booklet, it just says this registration number. Oh, we, oh, we have a registration number down there. Registration, I'm assuming that's what it is, yeah must be retained in order to facilitate the request for replacement pieces. So they do have a piece replacement policy. Wonderful. Let's hope we're not missing any. So that's cool. You know what? I like that right away. You know, look, there could be the chance that you have a piece missing. Just retain your registration number. Let us know and we'll deal with it. So there you go. That's the first booklet that came with it. Now I have some pullouts here. Let's see what is in here. What is this? Oh, it's like a panoramic poster. Is that the entire? No, no, that's not the entire puzzle. In fact, that's the second section because there's the Sydney Opera House. So this must be, there we go. Here's the first part. So that's quite a big, nice panoramic poster of the entire jigsaw puzzle. It folds into eight though. So the folds are not on the line of where the sections finish. And unless there's more pieces of paper underneath all these jigsaw puzzle bags, that's it. Oh, I was really hoping to have like maybe an A4 size, you know, poster for each bag because this, if I hold this and I fold it, I'm going to end up, you know, wearing it down on the seam and I don't want to cut it because it folds. Each one has four sections, so I don't actually know. I guess I would have to look back to here to figure out where the sections finish if it's to scale. Uh, okay, fingers crossed there's more in the bottom of the box somewhere, but I do love that there's a nice panoramic poster, even if it's in two pieces, that just gives you a really good feel for the overall jigsaw puzzle. It's going to be amazing. And look, no beige pieces. <laughs> the sky could be tricky. The sky could be tricky, but there's lots of variation in color and clouds. So, okay, let's see what else is in the box. So, so far we have the reference book that details all the monuments and places. We have those two pullouts that are panoramic posters. Now we have our bags. Now, I will admit I'm a bit nervous, 6,000 pieces per bag. The largest jigsaw puzzle I completed in one bag is this lovely one behind us, the 5,000 piece. So this will be a bit of a challenge for me. So here we go. I'm just pulling out a bag at random. So let's see how it's labeled. <laughs> Sometimes I think I should look at this stuff before I start talking. Okay, there's something written here. Ref, ref, like maybe reference, 17570. I think, I think that's the number, that's the product number. And then it says N control. And then the 001887. This box says the same product number and then 001886. Is this bag seven? That bag six? They're not really labeled. Okay. I obviously I do not make jigsaw puzzles. I don't know the process. Someone tell me. Would it really be all that difficult to label the bags? Like to literally have in this like bag one and then just have a sticker of a one on it? I don't think it would be too much to ask, do you? So basically I have to figure out what bag goes with what part of the jigsaw puzzle. Oh my goodness. Well, hopefully there's enough detail and you can have a look at the bags to figure it out. But yeah, okay. Well, let's see what else is here. I'm going to pull all these bags out and get to the bottom of the box. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not disappointed. I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little disappointed, but that's it. We have the seven bags, not labeled, the reference book. 
great. The two panoramic posters, great. We do not have individual posters for each of the sections. Oh, uh, I think that would have been really nice. Maybe once I get to doing it, it won't be such a big deal. I hope that this is not too small on detail that I can still make it out because you know me, I rely a lot on the image. I know a lot of people don't, but I do. And I do think it would have been nice to have the bags labeled. Yeah, so there's just two things apart from the box, you know, falling apart on me because it's not sturdy enough for the weight. This way is a lot. So look right here, I'll move the box. There's all the bags, I have two rows of them. I could have probably piled them all on top of one another but I didn't want them to fall off. Let's look at the back of the box here now. So on the back of the box, let's see again, the lovely big image of the entire jigsaw puzzle. And in all the multiple languages it says, around the world, the biggest jigsaw in just one image. Now, I don't know if that holds true today still because there is the Dado 60,000 piece. And I would say that's all one image. Um, it says the author of this artwork is Adrian Chesterman, an English illustrator and also creator of the 33,600 piece wildlife jigsaw puzzle. I believe that's the one right now that Vicky from Vicky Makes and Builds is doing. And then it says, this time the central topic is the world, a tour of the world's leading places and landmarks in no less than 42,000 pieces. And this part seems sturdy enough. Just the top broke on me on some corners. So there you go. That's what's included in this box unboxing of the 42,000 Educa Around the World Jigsaw Puzzle. What do you think? What do you think about it not being labeled bags? What do you think about not having individual posters and the packaging? I mean, yeah, the packaging. So I have some questions for you all. One, do you want to see me sort the pieces on camera? Yes or no? If you're really not all that interested in watching me sort the pieces, I might just do it on the couch in the evening, sort the pieces, and when it's all done, I can bring all the piles that are sorted, start filming, and explain to you my sorting process. Or do you enjoy watching all those piles of pieces being created? Leave your comments below, let me know. Two, I have no idea how long it's going to take me to do one bag. I don't know if it's going to take me days, <laughs> a week. So I was thinking two options. Either I record myself puzzling for a specific amount of time, 10, 12, 15 hours, and then I take a break, I make a video, and I release that video. So there would be part one, part two, part three, and so forth, as many needed to complete the jigsaw puzzle. And it could well be that one part may actually span two bags. Or would you rather I just release one video per section, the video could be longer, it might take me a bit longer to release the video, I might only be able to release one video a week, but there would be one dedicated video per section, per bag of the jigsaw puzzle. So which would you prefer? Let me know. And if I had a better concept of how long it might take me, I'd be able to judge it better and this could always change. I mean, I might, no, I'm not gonna be able to do a 6,000 piece puzzle in 15 hours. That's a bit crazy. I do think this image is a lot easier in some respects than the travel around art because it doesn't have all that beige background. However, it is 6,000 pieces. So let me know, sorting on camera, yes or no, videos, one per section or one every so many hours. I really want your feedback in your comments and we'll go from there. Some changes that I have to make, my table's a bit too small, so I'm gonna go buy a nice flat piece of wood to put it on top, but my camera should get the entire thing in view, so that'll be lots of fun. Again, I'll do my voiceovers and we'll talk about the landmarks and the locations. 
oh, and that'll be great. I'll let you know what places I've visited. And I want to hear from you, you know, be like, oh, yeah, I just saw Big Ben last week or something. But yeah, there you go. This was the unboxing of Educa's 42,000 piece around the world. I can't wait to get it started. And if I have a section done, I don't know if I can, but if I do, when I display the travel around art, I might be able to put a section up on the wall as well, just to see for scale and, and beauty. And I'm not going to try to rush myself because I still have my speed puzzling competition coming up, but you never know. I might be able to finish one section. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing and until next time, ciao!